what's going to happen next. There's in that whole movie of Michael, it was about that too. Like Dorothy had been married three times and she was like, not again. <laughs> I'm not going to take that risk again. And same with, with him. And, and, and yet every personal agenda is a defense against love in a way. Like to believe you can have a personal agenda is just... It's just a way of just protecting against just being completely defenseless and open now and being willing to just take the leap. It's really just for this moment. And there is no future guarantee with, with anything. It's not... It doesn't mean anything in terms of the future. It's about just, can, just being willing to just let go of some kind of guarantee for it or bargain for it. Like I'll say, I'll, I'll open up to love if I know that you're going to be with me or it's going to be safe or I won't get hurt or did it, you know. But it's like that, just allowing that to just be dropped. You don't have to do anything and it might not even seem like you have a call for love. Like William Hurt in this movie was just a had no, it wouldn't have looked like he was looking for love at all. But if it's the true call of your heart, spirit knows exactly the arrangement and the people, the ones that repel you, sometimes are the ones you end up in holy relationship, almost always in holy relationship with. And it's, it's like you don't even need to do anything. It's just a deep prayer within your heart and then spirit arranges all the like the road trip and the people in the car and actually the night in jail was a beautiful gift when, you know, when he went to touch her hair and just being in those situations of aggravation and fear and then just surrender, okay, I'm spending the night in jail. The ego always seems like it's, something's gone terribly wrong here. The spirit's like, no, 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 <laughs> this is just the way that the defenses are being loosened. What if we didn't judge any of it? And, you know, a first thing I, I heard about the movie was a smoking angel. Oh my God, it's me. But it's not. It was, you know, in the world, you think, oh, I'll, have, I'll be holy. I have all these things. It just doesn't quite work. And then you let everything go and let spirit direct it. It all gets retranslated and spirit uses you exactly the way you are, yet yeah, emptied out emptied out. It, like everything I've ever let go of has all come back in and if I listen, like one time we were in a gathering and I just started cursing in a gathering and I had already washed all that and I was like why, I literally said why spirit having me curse because I just kept doing it and I looked at Kirsten and she, she was smiling and there was all these young Puerto Rican girls and they were crying after like thank you so much for, cuss, for cussing, for cursing because you know we, we know we're holy now like it's it can be used if I don't try to control it, like if I don't use it as a defense, like while I smoke. God's just going to have to deal with that. No, I'm willing to let it go. <laughs> and, and it comes in, and, but I'm willing to let it go in every, like whatever it is, I, I can see the difference in me. Like, okay, whatever you want, whatever you need from me, Spirit. And it, miraculously, strangest things will come in and be used, cursing, having maybe sharing a cigarette or some other, whatever, it just... Yeah, and if you don't judge the, you know, the bar, bar fights and the jail scenes, I can look back on all the things that I thought were just a nightmare and see the gift in them all. It's always a gift if you've given your life over to the purpose and you're surrendered. There's, we were just talking about this the other day. It's like, it's got to be a gift. Mm -hmm.